Hi, I'm Hans Langeveld with longfieldgardens.com and I'm going to show you today how to plant continuous flowering gardens. Now this is one of the long lasting color combinations that we sell that produce flowers throughout the spring for a long period of time starting with early varieties and then continuing into to later blooming varieties into April. So this will give you about 60 to 80 days of color. In this continuous blooming bag we have hyacinths, tulips and daffodils. So we're going to plant the, the hyacinths in the front, then come the daffodils that are intermediate height and then in the back we're going to plant the tulips. We're going to basically take the bulbs out of the packaging, then we're going to take the bulbs and set them in the places where we want to plant them and you want to you want to basically space them out like this and you don't what you don't want to do is plant them on a, on a row like this like a like a row of soldiers. You just want to make groups out of them. So this would be a group of five. Then we'll do the same thing with the daffodils. We're gonna basically position them so we know exactly where we're gonna dig them in the ground. And the same we're gonna do for the tulips here. As you can see I'm putting these about four inches four inches apart so you have a nice grouping when they start to flower. I'm gonna redo these here and plant them so that you have the daffodils next to the hyacinths and this is a very personal thing you can you can plant them any way you want but you want to kind of want to make sure that they come out as nice groups because once they're groups they they will show better give you a better show in the spring when they bloom these are um, hyacinths that are going to flower apricots these are uh, daffodils that are going to be white and orange and then the tulips in the back are actually a variety called stunning apricot. The daffodils will start to bloom first, then come the hyacinths and then come the tulips. All right, so now we're gonna plant these bulbs actually and we're gonna do that using this bulb trowel, which is gonna be a very handy tool. And what we do is basically make the hole and stick the bulb in there. And this is gonna be about uh, four inch, about five inches deep. All right, then we're gonna cover up the hole to the next one. So you basically plant the bulb um, about three times the height of the bulb. All right, so if the bulb is, uh, is two inches, then you plant it about six inches deep. And this bulb trowel here is, is got a, quite a long blade, long enough to uh, dig a, a hole that deep. We set these bulbs out before we started planting. It's very easy to uh, make sure that you plant them actually where you want them. So you create the, the effect that you, uh, that you were looking for. And you want to plant them six to, eight inches, six to eight inches deep because it will also protect them better for frost. Even though in the end when we're done we're going to put a little bit of mulch over the, over the soil. Um, the deeper you plant them the, the more they're protected. And this soil is actually nice and loose. And if you have heavy clay soil, then you, um, you should really mix some organic matter into the soil to loosen it up and to make, it, make sure it, it actually drains better. See, the bulb has a, a, a nose, the, which is the tip of the bulb. And the, what you want to do is you want to plant the bulb with the nose up. And so this will be the, the area where the roots will, will develop and come out. And then this is where the sprout comes out. Now, in, in the event that the bulb gets planted upside down, it's not the end of the world because the, the sprout will actually turn around in the ground, find its way to the light and grow up anyway. So this is how you plant a continuous blooms garden that will give you flowers uh, pretty much through the entire spring. My name is Hans Langeveld and I'm co-owner of longfieldgardens.com and come to our, our website for more tips and videos to help you grow beautiful gardens. Mm -hmm.